Behind this door is a fortune in cash, fabulous prizes, a brand new car, and television's most exciting, fun-filled bonus game. A test of knowledge will open this vault door for one of our lucky couples as they try to break the bank. And now, here's the star of Break the Bank, Dean Rayburn. Here we go. All right. How do you do? Hey. Thank you very much. Welcome to Break the Bank. You know what I saw back there? I saw a lady who looks almost exactly like Madonna. Wait till you see her. There's a soldier in a mash-like Jeep driving around back there. Two people you'll all recognize. Willie Tyler and Lester. Yeah. Now let's meet our couples who will be competing. Michael Hanks, tell us about him. Right, Gene. She's a marketing consultant who enjoys classical music and gourmet cooking. And he's a carpenter who enjoys surfing, weightlifting, and skiing. Welcome back our returning champions who have so far won $32,099. Vicki and Richard Belt. And our next couple have been married for over 13 years. He's a marketing director, and she's a homemaker and part-time florist. Please welcome Terry and Grady Burt. We do welcome you and wish you the very best of luck, all four of you. All right, here we go. In our game, you'll be competing for seconds. And as you can see, the first five questions are worth from five to 80 seconds each. However, the sixth question is worth 100 seconds. Now, each answer is a clue to a puzzle. A couple who solves two puzzles first will win the game. And then they take the seconds they've earned into this prize vault for a chance to collect valuable prizes and an opportunity to break the bank, which today has a value in cash and prizes of over $20,000. Now, let's begin with a little hint to our home audience only, just for the people at home. There it is. Hands on buttons. Press the button whenever you think you know the answer to this five-second question. It's a New England state sandwiched between New York and New Hampshire. Grady and Terry. Connecticut. No, I'm sorry. I'll repeat the whole thing for Richard and Vicky. The New England state sandwiched between New York and New Hampshire. It was the 14th state admitted to the Union. Its capital is Montpelier. And if you still don't know, its abbreviation is VT. It's Vermont. Right. If you said Massachusetts, I would have punched you right in the mouth. Uh, so they got five seconds and one clue up on the board. And uh, you want to take a wild guess at it? No, we want plenty more seconds. Here we go for additional ten seconds. Name the popular medium from which these titles come. Droodles, Lanigan's Rabbi, Hong Kong Fui, Fang Face. Grady and Terry. Cartoons. Cartoons. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to give it to uh, Vicky and uh, Richard and see if they can come up with it. Uh, the popular medium from which these titles come, Droodles, Lanigan's Rabbi, Hong Kong, Fui, Fang Face, Cheers, Family Ties, and 60 Minutes. Oh, television programs. Television, of course. There it is for 10 seconds. All right. We have two clues now. Vermont and television. Take a look at it. You want to try to solve it or play on? Need an answer right now. Play for more seconds. More seconds. All right, here's a 20-second question. In 1968, a man named Pat Paulson announced his candidacy for presidency for President of the United States on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. What was Mr. Paulson's actual occupation? Richard and Vicky? He's a comedian. Of course he is. There's a 20-second question. Right, let's put it up there. Three clues. Solve it or play on, Richard and Vicky. No, we're going to go for more seconds. Here we go with a 40-second question. You're suffering from furballophobia, the fear of furballs. What type of doctor specializing in human behavior? Grady and Terry? Psychologist. Right, a psychologist is right for 40 seconds. Now we've got four clues up there. Take a look at them, see if you want to try to solve this puzzle or play on. We'll solve it. What is the solution to the puzzle? Bob Newhart. Right. You won the first round. Let's see if their opponents can catch up when we return to Break the Bank. All right. Let's say hello to our players here. Vicki and Richard, uh, some of you may not be aware of this fact, but uh, the last time they were on the show, they really had an exciting time because they broke the bank for over $32,000. Have you come down off the ceiling yet? No. Nope. Be up there <laughs> for a while. We didn't even have to take a car today. <laughs> oh. Well, we're very happy for you. 
All right, you've got. And listen, I point out to you, they won the first round. Yeah. Just playing the game. You got to win the second yes, round. Terry and Grady are doing very well. I understand you have some doubles in your family. You want to tell us about them? Yes, we have two and a half sets of twins. Two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> How does that work? We out? have five sons: two that are twelve, two that are ten, and one that's seven. Well, that so sounds wonderful. <laughs> That's marvelous. A great family. All right, good luck to you. Let's start round number two here. First with a little clue for the home audience. There it is. Five-second question coming up. Hands on buttons. Here we go. The United States Congress consists of two branches, the Senate and the what? Richard and Vicki? The House of Representatives. House is right for five seconds. Yeah. Good stuff, Vicki. One clue up there. Take a wild guess or play on. We're going to go for the second. Here's a 10 second question. <laughs> D.W. Griffith's 1915 landmark American motion picture about two families during the Civil War and reconstruct. Brady and Terry. Birth of a nation. Birth is the word we're after. 10 seconds for you. Yeah. All right, two clues up there. House and birth. Want to try to solve it or play out? I think we'll go on for more All time. right, here we go with the 20 second question. What's the name of the lion who is the symbol of Metro Goldwyn Mayer pictures? Brady and Terry. Leo. Leo is right. Oh. You weren't sure, were you? But you got it. All right. House, birth, and Leo. Now, do you want to try to solve the puzzle or play on? Play on. Let's go to the 40-second question. This is a symbol or a notice. A familiar one is octagonal, red and white. Grady and Terry. A stop sign or street sign. Sign is the word we're after. There you go for 40 seconds. Now, let's put that up there for him. Take a look at them. House, birth, Leo, and signs. You want to try to solve this puzzle? Okay, go. Okay, we'll solve it. You will solve it. If you solve the puzzle, you win the game. What is your solution? Are you sure? <laughs> Astrology. Is that it? All right, you got it. You got the game. You got the prize vault with 110 seconds. Congratulations to you. And best wishes to Vicki and Richard because they are big winners from a recent show in which they broke the bank for over $32,000. Thank you for being with us. But Terry and Grady, you did it. Now, uh, let's begin the process here. We're going to bring out a lady who will help our contestants here in the prize vault, former Miss USA, Julie Hyatt. Okay, they've got 1-1-0. One, one, oh. Those are the three numbers that will open the ball. Walk this way. Now, this is where you're going to be spending all of the seconds you've earned in the first part of the game, gathering as many prize cards as you can, bank cards, and as many prizes as you can, too. And as we take a look around here, Michael Hanks will tell us about them. Prove you're a fast food fan and win a new state-of-the-art typewriter. And a beautiful brass lamp is yours when you play the newscaster at our Photo News Roundup. And rest assured you'll win a comfy sleeper sofa if you qualify to fly on a space shuttle ride. Brand new plush carpeting will fill your home if you can recognize the cities where our grand hotels are standing. And win a trip to exciting Las Vegas just by taking a truth test with our lucky star, look-alike Madonna. And on the other side of the vault, prove to us you're the biggest dummy on stage and win a portable spa, but only with the help of Willie, Tyler, and Lester. Court Marshal the right soldiers and you'll win a handy food processor. And identify our haughty hats and take home the latest in spring fashions. And our number jumbler. If you pick the right number, you'll hear this sound. Which means you can try for extra bank cards. And be a break the bank bleacher bum and lead a big cheer and you'll take home a stylish ladies watch. And that's what's waiting for you inside our prize ball today. Back to you, G. All right. We've got a double audience today. It's marvelous. We'll be back in a moment to watch our winners here spend the seconds they've earned here in our fabulous prize ball right here on Break the Bank. We're adding a trip to St. Thomas, dinnerware, and carpeting to our bank. It's a fabulous vacation for two at luxurious Frenchman's Reef on St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. They'll pamper and spoil you and leave you with pleasures you'll never forget. Frenchman's Reef. 
And find dinnerware from Nico Contemporary Designs in today's colors. Elegant and versatile for formal dining or everyday use. Microwave and dishwasher safe from Nico. And Bigelow Carpet. Durable, smooth finish, plush pile crafted from fiber to finish products for over 160 years. Rich, romantic colors for your every decor from Bigelow Carpet. And also in our bank today is this Mazda GLC hatchback. With standard features that include a 1.5 liter overhead cam engine and independent rear suspension. Plus, it's roomy and fun to drive from Mazda. Now back to you, Gene Rayburn. Thank you very much, Michael. Let's go on here. Doesn't that sound exciting? Yeah. The Mazda, the people that you just left, you know, they probably drove away in their Mazda. It's... All right, now let me tell you what happens here. You pick the prize you want, we'll go there. I'll tell you what to do to get that prize on the bank card. Then you complete that event, grab the card, bring it back here and put it into the slot. And then pick another prize and try the next one. Just keep on going and get as many bank cards as you possibly can because you never know which will be the one card with the winning code that might break the bank now worth a total of $20,000. All right. You have a total of 110 seconds. The clock is set. Are you all ready now? Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. The clock will begin when you choose your first prize. Have you decided that? Yes. What is it? I'm going to go for the sleeper sofa. The sleeper sofa. The clock is going. Let's get over there. All right. Whoops. Sorry. You have a seat, if you would, please. Julie, help him on with that. And uh, all you have to do to earn your bank card is successfully pass our Break the Bank Space Shuttle Astronaut Training Program. And as soon as you get that uh, astronaut suit on there, oh, uh, in there, get the flight suit on there, right? Go ahead, and uh, there you go. Sit in there. Now, are you ready for your flight training? Ready. All right. Uh, start the clock now and start him spinning. All right. Here we go. Which of the following men was one of the original seven astronauts? Alan Sherman, Sybil Shepard, Bobby Sherman, Alan Shepard. Alan Shepard. That's one. Alan Shepard. This one. All right. Who said one small step for man, a giant leap for mankind? Was it Hervé Villachez, Tom McCann, Boy George, Gene Kelly, or none of the above? None of the above. At a boy, you got two. Complete the following sequence. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> There's another thing to complete. What do you say after one? Last off. All right, that's there good you enough. Go. Grab the card. Okay, get out of here, Ray Can you get out of there? Don't fall down. Here, I'll help you. You want to try going out the other 50 seconds? Here's a card here. Is he dizzy? Don't let him fall. Terry, where do you want to go? Where? 40 seconds. You want the lamp? All right. You have a seat in there, if you would, please, and uh, look straight ahead at those cue cards there. All you have to do to earn your bank card is read the news headline pertaining to each of our Break the Bank news photos. Are you all set? Can you, uh, yes, can you read, can read that? Read all right. And here we go. The clock starts now. Good day, and welcome to Break the Bank. Photo news roundup. In our first photo, President Reagan assured reporters today that if his Bullwinkle Moose impression doesn't 20. scare the Russians into submitting nothing will. And on a happier note in our international 15. news front, our next photo shows the Crown Princess Wilhelmina frozen, vanilla, uh, demonstrating okay, correct pronunciation of I do in her native tongue of Serbo quotation. And finally, on the home front, our last one. Uh, it's hard to read those things and do them in a big hurry with uh, words that you've never heard of before. Well, let's see how you did over here. What yeah, do we got here? We've got one card. One card. Oh, it only takes one. It only takes one. That's the attitude. $899. Let's find out about that prize. Michael Hanks? Right, Terry and Grady, you've won the Lazy Boy Signature 2 Sleep Sofa. It has a wide variety of fabrics that are suitable for any decor. Enjoy elegance by day and comfort by night thanks to Lazy Boy for a total of $899. All right. One card. But, as he said earlier, it only takes one, and this might indeed be the one card that can break the bank.
travel arrangements in the beautiful beaches of Miami made through Eastern Airlines. En route to a memorable vacation, you'll enjoy wide-body comfort with Eastern. Now back to you, Gene. Thank you. All right, here we are with our winners. He's still a little dizzy. <laughs> we really gave him a turn there. He answered all the questions correctly, even though he was dizzy, so he's okay. How do you feel now? Better. Good. All right. We're going to find out now if they have chosen the one lucky card with the winning code that'll break the bank. And you never know. This could be the card that'll do it. Inside the uh, bank there, you see the envelope with your name on it? Mm -hmm. All right. Inside the envelope is a check representing the value of the bank. And I want to point out to you that last time we were together, uh, the people you met, to pl you played against, they broke the bank for over $32,000. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. All right. Who's going to go you? first? Well, you, first. Who's going to go? <laughs> I will go. I'm the lucky one. Oh, you're going to go. Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what. How about if I offer you $100 for it? Oh, no. 200 No. Would you take 300 How about 400 I'll give you, oh, this may be my last offer. I'll give you $400 and the lamps that you were going for over there. You sure? <laughs> she says one way, he says the other way. They really don't know what to do. They're on the horns of a dilemma. Now, you have to make a decision. Wait a minute. Hold on. I said it might be my last offer, and I lied to you. I, I have a final offer. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Wow! Take the money. Take the money. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take seven hundred and fifty dollars. All right. There's the payoff. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Now, Julie, let's find out if they sold a winning card. Already? Oh, uh, you could be very here we sorry go. Just here. One card. If that there is the go. winning code, there, whatever that is. No. Let's see. Oh. In our prize vault, we have a total of $1,984 plus the cash you just have. And we'll be back right after this. If you and your partner are quick of mind and fleet on your feet, you should try out as contestants on Break the Bank. Put your name and address on a postcard and send it to Break the Bank, contestants, 11020 Ventura Boulevard, suite number 346, Studio City, California, 91604. Or if you have a wacky idea that you'd like to see used in our prize vault, send it on a postcard with your name and address to Break the Bank Prize Game. 11020 Ventura Boulevard, suite number 346, Studio City, California, 91604. If we use it, you'll get a Break the Bank t-shirt and we'll use your name on the show. Back to you, Gene. All right. Now, before we go on and do anything else here, I want to take a moment to thank the special guests. Some of them got a chance to perform and some didn't. The Madonna look-alike is from Ron Smith's celebrity look-alike. So she is Catherine Newman. And Yay, Catherine! There she is, doing her Madonna thing. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, Willie Tyler and Lester, you didn't get a chance to do anything, that's did all. you? Thank you, that's all. Could you step you, out here? You know where I'm from. Where are you from? I was born in the woods and worked my way out. <laughs> Think about it, Gene. You've done good, been. by the way. That was great. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I like it. I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Cause this, it has been a while. You know, I've been on the road. I've been on a ship. You've been on a ship? Yeah, what ship are you on? I don't know. Look, Royal, SS Royal. Where'd you go? I went, wait, wait, went to uh, 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 Bahamas. Oh, you did go to the Very violence. humid down there, you know. Oh, it is. I can't stand yeah. humidity. You didn't wear this down there. No, no, I can't. You know, I can't stand humidity. Why can't you? It stand? makes my wood extend. <laughs> yeah. Well. I got locked jaw one day and couldn't get that sucker closed. <laughs> well, it's great to see you guys. Thank and you very thank much. Thank you very much. And we're going to be you. seeing you next time, right? Yes, indeed. Yes, Good. Indeed. Okay. And we are adding a variety of prizes to our bank so that next time it'll be worth $21,000. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Team Raven inviting you to join us next time as we are champions get another chance to break the bank. Some of today's contestants will receive the following. I like being warm when it snows and warm when it sleets and not having frozen feet. But I don't like panty lines, so I wear winteralls. Warm, cozy pantyhose. Your feet have had a rough day. Soothe them with Isotoner Comfort Slippers. <sighs> 
makes a perfect gift at fine department and specialty oh. stores. I want more bits, more bits, more bits, my kibbles and bits, and bits and bits. More bits in every bite. More bits. Remember. Remember shoots and ladders, the counting game? Now you can share the memories because you'll find it's still the same. From Milton Bradley. It's plumbing. For hair clogs at their worst. Oh, it's for you. Liquid Plumber is the plumber to call first. Production in association with Blair Entertainment, Star Communications, and Hubbard Broadcasting.